Now, it's nearly two decades since my next guest won The X Factor. And since then, Leona Lewis has gone on to sell over 35 million records worldwide. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Leona joins us now. It's so good to see you, good Leona. See you uh, it's just beautiful music, beautiful voice. Looking back at all that X Factor yeah. stuff, as we say, nearly 20 years ago. That's so crazy when you said two decades. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long, old time. A lot's happened in that time. Yeah, but it has. Looking back at that show, and it was appointment to view television, wasn't it then? Yeah. And I, rem I remember this moment vividly, uh, and I'm sure you do as I well, because it was a life-changing really. moment. Yeah. It it's like we were just talking like it's everyone I feel like seemed to watch it yeah. <laughs> like at that point and it was just yeah life changing for me it pro started everything uh -huh. so it was and give you so just that that first step you know you have to yeah you have to roll with it yourself afterwards but yeah. what a platform to begin with yeah, and the backing right. that you had at that point and we, we talk about Simon Cowell I know you're, you're in LA a lot now do you yeah. randomly bump into him in Sunset Boulevard these days or, <laughs> or how rather. does it work yeah uh, I actually saw him um the other week I uh, did America's Got talent um he asked me to come and perform with this incredible artist called Pucci and um so I'm in touch with him like he'll ask me to sing on certain things so still very much talking to still very Mr. much in touch. Yeah. yeah yeah well you are back on tour it's been yeah. how many years maybe sort of six years since yeah you about were on six tour? seven years since. yes okay yeah. but back on tour celebrating the 10th anniversary of your album Christmas yeah. with love one of the biggest selling Christmas albums of this century that's crazy an incredible <laughs> accolade um, I wonder what Mariah Carey thinks of that <laughs> I don't the, the self-confessed queen of Christmas. She, but, uh, she is the absolute queen. Well, like, well, we, you know, we all have our views, exactly. <laughs> but it's a beautiful album and it's something very special to you. Thanks. And you love this time of year. It's, yeah. it's like an easy win, really. It, it's so special. Like, I've always loved Christmas and I've wanted to tour this album for years. Like, and to go back on tour with this album is really, really special to me. So. I'll be doing songs from this album, songs from my other album. So I'm excited to just get back out there. It's been a minute. A slightly different tour this time around, though, because you've got a little girl. Yeah. A little girl in two. That my changes everything a bit. Yeah, so she'll be coming on some of the uh, tour with me. So it's everything's changed. <laughs> everything's changed now. So we'll be doing things like um, I'm going on a slightly earlier than I usually would uh -huh. um, so that I can make sure that I could be with the baby before and after. So. It's, it's going to be fun, but different, having her there with me. And how will Christmas be different for you from a, on a personal family perspective? Because she's at an age now of 15, 16 months. She, she kind of yeah. knows what's happening, doesn't yeah, she? Not fully, but she gets taking excitement. Taking it in, yeah, way more. So last year was so special because it was our first Christmas with her. But now that she can actually take things in and the presents and seeing her open things, it's going to be so cute. And it's the best just thing. seeing her grandparents with her as well is just everything. Yeah. Do me. you sing to her at home? I do. I do sing to her and she enjoys it. But there are times when she just like puts her hand over my mouth as if to be like, <laughs> OK, that's it, mummy. <laughs> that's enough. She doesn't know how lucky she is. Oh, my she goodness. That's so typical, isn't yeah. it? Um, it was actually Carmel, your little girl, who spurred you on to make contact with Snoop Dogg. Yes. How, yeah. So how did that sort of come so around? This is so random, but um, Snoop Dogg basically has these uh, a collection of kids' songs. And when, Co I call her Coco, when Coco was younger, um, it was the only songs that would like soothe her and the only songs I could listen to that wouldn't drive yeah. me mad because, you know, kids' songs <laughs> yes, after a while yes, could very. just be so grating. <laughs> so um, I would play her Snoop Dogg songs and I contacted him and his team and I was just like, thank you so much. These songs saved me and Coco loves them. And if you ever need someone to sing with you on one of these songs, let me know. Um, and he got back to me and we ended up doing a project together called Doggy Land. It's, yeah, really wild and random. Never thought I'd be doing that. <laughs> there it is, but your character's yeah. London Lily. London, London Lily. London Lily, yeah. your character, which is She's something really so special for your little girl it's, to watch and think really that's actually cool. mummy in it. Yeah, because she hears it and she knows that it's me singing and she'll be like, Mama, Mama, it's really cute. It's so cute. How fantastic. Yeah. My goodness, all these little things that just crop up, isn't it? It's it very just, special. Yeah, life changes when a baby comes along. It does, Everything it changes. does. And then another sort of sidestep from, from music, obviously, you're very, very passionate about the fact you, you have coffee shops now. 
yeah, in, yeah. in LA. And they're very based on, it's very health based, it's vegan based, yeah. it's plant based. It, it, you take it very seriously, it's very important passion project. I yeah, suppose. so my husband and I actually opened up these two shops and I think we'd always seen our parents working and building their own businesses. So we wanted like a brick and mortar store. Um, and I love coffee shops. I love sitting and writing and reading books in, in shops. So we decided to open a couple up and yeah, we just love it. It's like our passion project. It's fantastic. And as you say, it's just something that you enjoy doing together as well. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, it just sort of it brings you together all, as the family. Yeah, and very it's... much a family, a family business. And Carmel's always with us in there. And, yeah, it's lovely. That's really, really important. I suppose being back on tour again, would that potentially make you think about heading back to Broadway at some point? Because we, we saw you perform Broadway, yeah. Cats, you know, singing the iconic memory song. It yeah. was a big, big moment. And it was something you enjoyed. Very hard work. We yeah, know yeah. Um, I, is it something you consider again? I, I loved doing Broadway, and it is. It's, it's a lot. I, I remember when I was doing it and just seeing the work ethic of everyone mm -hmm. in the theatre backstage as well as on stage was just incredible. So it taught me a lot of discipline. Um, and I remember they said, oh, we're going we're gonna to be having eight shows a week. And I was like, but there are only seven days in a week. How does that work? <laughs> um, so it's, it's a lot of work. I would, definitely, I would definitely go back if it was the right thing because um, I enjoyed it so much. And again, you become like a little family mm. in the theatre. So it's, it's, it was really such a, a beautiful time. Yeah. Big tour first, though, like we say, Christmas yes. with love. So you kick off on the 20th of November at yeah. uh, Nottingham Royal Concert Hall. Yeah. And then you're sort of all over. For, uh, for yeah, the, like, a few weeks after that. All over the UK. Um, so I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be in London as well. I'll be in London. So and a few surprises, hometown. I believe, cropping up on that There'll show. There'll be some as well. surprises. It's going to be a really special show. I think it's going to be very different to what people have seen me do before. Mm -hmm. so and all your family and friends will be there. Oh, yeah. They so. will be screaming at the top of their lungs. Yes, feeling so a everyone very will know where note. my family is in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Leon, it's so lovely to have you back. Are you enjoying the British oh. weather? Yeah, I actually, it's been so nice. I've I took um, the little one to a pumpkin patch yesterday and it was so sunny and like lovely so a bit muddy but she loved it she was like rolling around that's what it's all about yeah it's nice. great Leona, best of luck with everything uh yes christmas tour thank beautiful you. thing uh, get your tickets now thank you so much thanks for having um, me